so um, today I have finally gotten my box from Volks. It's the FCS, um, USA FCS. Sorry, I just checked the time. I gotta try to make it quick because I gotta go to work. Um, but it's the USA FCS SD um, that I talked about in my last video. Um, she got lost. Um, UPS accidentally delivered her to the Amazon warehouse. Looks like they must have opened her. So hopefully everything's okay. Um, I don't really know what to expect. But let me tell you, it was like a whole drama. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start opening this. Um, basically, they delivered her to the warehouse. Um, and um, like on a trailer. And then they just, um, and Amazon apparently gets thousands of packages a day and they were like, Oh, you know, sometimes they turn up, sometimes they don't. And I was like, that's not a good answer. So I called the warehouse. I gave them the description. I don't know how much this helped. Um, I sent an email to Volks, who was great. Um, they started to claim with UPS, who finally started getting into here. They called me. I gave them the number for the warehouse. Um, and look at this. So she definitely came out of here because, like, the padding's all in the side. Oh, hi, Tater. Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh, you're showing your cat butt? So like the padding's like all smashed down <laughs> in the back um, with it looks like my order slips. So other than that, she looks like, I don't, I don't think they've opened the bubble wrap. So hopefully that's good. Um, and I've got my order slips. So let's just check that. So far, so good. So let's see what happens here. Whoop, there he goes. <laughs> All right, and I apologize for my crazy basement background. It's raining, so I couldn't do the opening outside and um, I didn't really have enough room because um, I didn't have access to the common area today. So here we are. Now that said, move this over more. So let's get her open and out of here. Um, I'm a bit apprehensive. I don't know what it is. Like every time I order a tan doll, I just, I'm like, I have, I'm just afraid that they're not going to look as nice as I imagined or something. Um, even though I know Volks always does an amazing job. So I shouldn't be worried. <laughs> and I'm always worried anyways. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully um, she turns out. Um, you know, it's amazing as I, as I expect every time I see her picture, um, you know, I have to kind of envision the, the, um, all the details, um, you know, what does this face up look like some, on sunlight skin? What does this head look like on his body? All of that kind of stuff. Okay. We're going to just do what I learned last time. I got to cut the side open if I want to get her out of here. <laughs> So here we go. And again, it looks like we have a plain super golfy box. No extra labeling. Oh, and I forgot. This is Esme. Esme is my first FCS doll. She was um, S FCS um, F33 um, in tan skin with the boy face up. Um, and she's got those Swariko legs. Um, and she turned out super cute, so I don't know why I'm, I'm nervous. Um, this girl is F59, I believe that's Saki's number. Let me look at my cheat sheet. <laughs> yeah, F59, so she's F59 SD, um, or Saki in tan skin or sunlight. And, um, um, and she's got the boy face up as well. Um, did I say she's an SD 13? I don't know. But anyways, we got a little packet of goodies. We got our little looks letter, which I showed in the last round. It's the 20th anniversary. And I'm sure this is all backwards for you guys, but <laughs> the 20th anniversary full choice system card. We got her 
manual and the regular clear kits this time, not the weird like white ones that I got with um, my MSD. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's just because she's big. I have no idea, but all right, in here, we've got an SD10 victory hand. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me get that out of there. I'm just going to put it right by Esme. And let's get our other hands. So I also got her. Let's see. Ah, look at these ones that I like. They're a little bit different. Kind of relaxed but slightly pointy hand. too hard to cut so I'm just going to show you them in the plastic because I am short on time but um see they're like a little bit of a grabby hand a little bit of a pointy hand like cute relaxed pose so those hands so far so good so let's see about opening sake and um, actually, let me keep this in the box. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm... And I'm going to check the time really quick. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. I just got to make sure I get to work. It's been a crazy week, so it's been storming here in Michigan like crazy. And when it storms, I... Um, I get a lot of extra work, so um, today's normally my day off, but I'll be going in. Um, yesterday was also my day off. I had a double shift, so <laughs> I worked for 16 hours, slept slightly because um, I was kind of like freaked out about her being back out for delivery and worrying about her not getting delivered, um, but she made it. She finally made it. All right. So, so yeah, so I gotta go to work in like 20 minutes. Um, and I haven't figured out any food, I'm probably just gonna order food because it's been crazy and I haven't had time to cook anything, so all I've been doing is working and sleeping and trying to sort this out. <laughs> Which didn't, I didn't take up so much of my time, but you know, it was definitely um, a, little, a little stressful. I mean, I wasn't so worried about it because I knew it would get sorted out one way or the other either way. Um, so we got our doll mummy. So I'm just going to open her like this if it'll let me. Oh, they've got a lot of goodies. I also got Toppy Feet for her. I don't know. I'm just, I love Toppy Feet. Ah, I haven't seen the SD Toppy Feet. They have really wide apart toes. But here she is. Let's see if I can. Oh, you know what? Let me do this. Let me put this pillow underneath her. All right, now you can probably see better. So here she is. Let me bring her. I'm going to take off her little hand covers. So here are the SD toppy feet with those wide apart toes. So cute. And then um, I her other hands I got her was these flat hands because I thought she could do like some like easy to do like a like a namaste or a prayer pose um, or I don't know just be cute um, and here is her face I can bend her knees all right here we go so there she is. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I'm gonna take her mask off so we can really see her, but oh, she's so gorgeous. So let's get her out of here. See, I was nervous for nothing. And I knew I was, but you know, it's just one of those things. You get all freaked out. And then it didn't help that, like, she got lost. <laughs> 
and I was just like, oh my gosh, and I, and I knew like folks, if um, if they weren't able to recover the package, they were gonna, you know, make a new one. But then I just felt really bad because like, you know, the old one, the first one would be lost somewhere. Um, you know, so that like made me really feel sad for her. <sighs> but I love her face. She's so sassy. Alright, here we go. So this is her face. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanted a sake for so long. Um, and now I finally have one and she's just super adorable. Um, Alright, so let's get her dressed. I have a couple of outfit choices I showed you last time, the one that I had gotten and I intended for her, and then I thought this would, would maybe look cute on her, um, so we'll give her some options. So we've got this set with the cat skirt, and we've got um, oops, the plain um, gray jeans and the white t-shirt. Of course, underwear. I didn't have any shoes for though. <laughs> I need to get more shoes. Um, oh, I should have got the flip flops. We'll do that later. All right. Well, I figured it out. I got to figure out. I think somebody might be wearing them. I'm not sure. We got to figure out where those are. Um, I think it was smart. I stored them with the kimono. So we'll have to see. Let's get her underwear on. And then we will choose her outfit. And depending on the time, maybe we can try on both. There it goes. All right, so we have these lacy underwear with the bows from Bulks. And let's see what she wants to wear. We'll do whichever one that she does want to wear first, so we can put her in the other one second. Alright, let's see, should we do this? All right, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna get her dressed up casual first, and then we're gonna put her in the other fancy outfit. Um, we should have time for both, especially since this is just gonna be two pieces. So let's get her into these pants. And oh my goodness, the tabby toes are like getting in the way already. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Oh, <laughs> her toe got stuck in the Volks tag that's in the pants. Um, okay, and they're saying this is the back, so let's let's switch switch a Okay, we're having a having a fight here. Let me just do one foot. And I'll work the other one in there. Okay, that's better. Who knew, who knew the SD tabby toes would be such a trouble. <laughs> okay, so we got pants. Whoops. Come on, stay in your socket. There we go. And then I should also say, um, I guess, uh, that I have decided on a name for her, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So I'm, I've named her, um, I'm going to show, tell you in a second. Um, so I want you to see her face when I introduce her. Oh, and we need wigs. Wigs. Okay. Sorry. I'm like totally scatterbrained because like I said, I just worked a double shift. So my brain is like, what? All right. Oh, this is super cute already too. Right, let's get her set up here. 
do this one. I'm going to use the long wig and we're going to try that one out. And then with the other one, I'm going to try out the short wig. I feel like it'll be better to um, contrast like the, the girliness um, with something you know like so like the girliness of the long wig with the casualness of the jeans outfit and then the um you know sort of more spunky short wig with the where did i put the wigs on the table of course um the short spunky wig with the more girly cat skirt outfit <laughs> So here is our long wig. Let's get this out of here. Let's try to try to keep it together. There we go. I don't know if this is going to work for her at all. We might be, we might be a short wig girl. She already is looking kind of, kind of like, what are you suggesting <laughs> that I wear this hair? Why? She's cute, but I don't know. Well, maybe she could do it. She's, you know, we're going to have to probably get her into, um, something more more spunky oh my goodness this definitely needs some styling these bangs are out of control let's see let's do that okay get her some little hairs in the front no no hairs in the front on that side let's try this side Okay, that's not terrible. Um, it's a little, little wild, but I think it could work. I feel like she would want to like have her hair more in a ponytail or maybe, uh, I'm not sure. But here is, um, um, her name is Samsara. So it's a um, Sanskrit name um, that uh, refers to sort of the the life cycle um, of the cycle of birth and death. So um, this is Samsara. And then let's try look number two. We should have time, so <laughs> I'm gonna try her in the short wig already because I wanna see the short wig with this and I just wanna see her in, in the short wig in general. So this one is actually the same style as um, Agni's wig that you saw in the last video. Um, it's just a different color. Let's so we'll see how this works for her. So if she likes this one better, this is going to be hers. If she's if she doesn't like this one better, um, then it's probably oh yeah this. I don't know if I like this either. It's, it's cute. I mean, it's got like kind of a, a Nana look. If um, you know Ayazawa's Nana. Um, I don't think that it's going to be her. Let me get this in here looking a little better here. Like, I think it has to go a little bit to the side because one side seems to be a little bit longer, a little bit fuller. All right, let's try that. I mean, it's cute. I don't know if it's her. Maybe she is a long hair girl after all. Oh my goodness. I'm getting a call. I don't know what it's doing. Let me make it go away. Oh, she's falling over. Ah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so here she is with the short hair. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I think she might be a long hair girl, but I'm not sure. All right, let's get her into Getting these pants off, boy. 
It got like some strong elastic. Oof. It's like taking everything with it. I hope we want to keep the underwear. Thank y'all. All right. So here is pants, the top. Let's get her changed over. snaps there's more snaps there we go all right so let's get her changed into the pant dress missing all the snaps today. I'm telling you, my brain is not fully functioning right now. But we're going to get through it. We're going to make it work. There we go. Oh, and you know what? I forgot this shirt gets tucked into this. So, let's get her a little shirt on. Get her sorted. And of course, it has this bow that we're going to have to try to uh, recreate here. The pressure is on. The pressure is on. <laughs> um, so the other thing, um, Samsara is um, actually uh, to be Esme's mom. So we'll see if she still decides she's Esme's mom once I get her all dressed up. I think so. I think she's turning out to be the character I thought she would be, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I don't know if I'm just getting a feel for Volk's, how Volk's dolls are, <laughs> so that I like, you know, have some feeling for what they're like when I get them, or if I've just been lucky with the last couple that they, they fit. Sometimes, you know, I'll get a doll and I'll be like, okay, yep, yeah, that's, that's clearly not you. Like even on Dina, she, she was different than I thought she would be. I thought she would be like this funky, energetic girl and she's really calm, um, you know, but Agni is definitely more spunky, more sassy. Um, and actually Madhuri Radha, she's, she's got the personality that I thought um, that on Dina would have, but like even more exaggerated. So, you know, who knows, but. <laughs> All right, let's get her. Snapped in and try to tie this bow of doom and try to get her little shirt tucked in as well. All right, here we go. Let's do the bow first. So this was this way. I try to like tie it kind of the same as Volks had it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see if they agree with me today or not. There you go. That is not going to work. Is it? I don't know. Maybe it is going to work. Alright, we just got to adjust. Adjust, adjust. You know, it's these shirts with these neckties that they drive me nuts. Like, I would never wear this. <laughs> Alright. It looks cute on her, so we're gonna make it work. Where's, where's your snaps? I gotta get you back in order, girl. Here we go. Alright. So yeah, so I had to, to call Amazon. I gave them the, the description of all the things. Um, and they said they would call me back. They never called me back. As soon as they like had, you know, UPS contacting them, they were just like, oh, forget you. <laughs> Apparently. So I'm glad it worked out. Um, UPS, what they had told me was that 
the tracking would start tracking again once they had her again. Um, and so before I called Amazon to try to bug them, I was like, well, let me just check and see if the tracking started tracking again, because if it did, then, you know, then I know that UPS has it and we're good to go. So I checked it, it started tracking, it set out for delivery. So it's kind of how, um, how that went. Um, and then I just had to wait forever. I was like, man, you'd think they messed it up, they would take it to my house first, but I guess they had their, their route, so I'll, I'll forgive them. <laughs> All right, so she's actually really cute in this dress, but I do not think she's a short wig girl. So we're gonna try the, this wig possibly on my, um, my Yori, because um, she needed a new black wig with no bangs. I'm gonna get her back into this long wig. I'm glad that I decided to get a backup wig for her. Something told me, I was like, you need something different. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she inspired me to buy it. She's like, this is what I need. All right, here we go. Now we just gotta get these bangs kinda in some kind of order again. Ugh, they're horrible. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So here's the part that goes over here. That is this part. Yeah, she's gonna definitely need some um, some styling, but let's put it more to the side and see how that goes. The problem is, is like. The way that it's parted, it's like trying to show the wig cap. It's driving me insane. Oh no, my clock went away. All right, let me just show ya. Let's see, let's try that, get that out of her eyes. Yeah, so there she is. So here is some set up. I'm just gonna bend her legs there so I can get her nice and close. Um, aw, alright, let's put her like this, and get her little head turned, Oh, she's so cute, <laughs> got her little, her little hands, but, um, can't get her in a proper pose right now, I don't think I have time, so we're just gonna get her set up here. Got her little Esme here. And there we go. And of course, everybody's hair is, is in their eyes. It's like, must run in the family. <laughs> but there is our Samsara Tan Sunlight, um, I guess I should say, Saki or F59 um, with the boy face up. Whoops! We're gonna need a potato ring for that later. <laughs> And Esme, her daughter, at 33 SDM. Let me see if I can get Esme to stay. Get her wig back really quick. Oh, come on, Tater. Let me just check the clock. Okay, we gotta. We don't have time. I gotta go. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching.